Hey friends, this is Eric Kim. I want to give you guys a quick introduction to some of Henri Cartier-Bresson's best compositions and essentially figuring out why they work. So this is one of my favorite photos from Henri Cartier-Bresson. It's, you know, a combination of him using the fishing technique and you can see all the wonderful leading lines of all these different shapes and forms leading you to the bicycle. And so what Henri Cartier-Bresson used to do is he found an interesting background, an interesting scene, and he just essentially waited for the right people to enter the scene. And you could see, based on the diagrams that I put over, you could see all the different movement and the engaging arrows that add movement and flow to the image. And I've added different abstractions and shapes of forms. And you could see, in terms of the composition, you're just waiting for this guy in the bicycle to enter this part of the frame right here. And the practical takeaway point for you to realize about this composition is, once again, try to find interesting composition shapes and forms and just wait for the right person to come into the frame. They call this the fishing technique. This is another photo by Cartier-Bresson. And the reason why I love this composition is that if you think about the, the forms, you got the two guys in the top right corner and they're both in totally pitch black. And you could actually see that they're overlapped, which kind of, if you abstract the image, is just kind of this surreal form. And Henri Cartier-Bresson was a surrealist. He studied a lot with surrealist painters. And even if you abstract this image, you could kind of see how it's this interplay between all these different visual shapes and forms. And the practical tip that I've learned about this composition and this photograph is trying to put your subjects in the top right corner part of the frame and adding lots of the lines and the shapes and forms to add more visual interest. This is another one of my favorite photos from Arnoux Carter Brisson. So one thing to note is all the different expressions of these kids, the depth in all the different faces, and also this <laughs> this uh, this dude here with the hat in the background. So if you just kind of visualize the shapes and forms, you can see all the different shapes and forms and the, the depth of the subjects in the frame. And if you abstract the image, you could just see how wonderful it was. So once again, looking at all the different reds, the blues, the yellows of the different subjects, and looking at the little you know, square dots in the background. This is another photo I love from Cartier-Bresson. It's of two men in Marseille. And if you just kind of look at the shapes and the forms of these subjects just lying on the ground, you can just see how beautiful and elegant it is. Here I've abstracted the shapes and the forms of the two guys lying down. And in terms of the composition, you could see how it kind of follows this diagonal grid where the leg follows this man from the bottom of the, in the yellow to the top in the red. Here they are just as cutouts. Another case of Henri Cartier-Bresson's brilliant composition where he kind of found this wonderful scene here in Greece and he's just waiting for the, the cherry on top or the subject to enter the frame, which is this little girl running into the frame. So here she is outlined in yellow. Here are some of the background shapes abstracted. And so you could see Essentially, it almost looks like a surrealist painting. It's quite beautiful. You can see all the doors outlined in yellow, and you can see the, the different, the, the depth of the frame in outlined in yellow. The doors in blue. So ultimately, when you're looking at the compositions of Cartier-Bresson, Reminders to have for yourself is, once again, the fishing technique, find an interesting scene, interesting background, wait for the right people to enter the frame. And when you're also shooting, like in photos like this, just have a nice, simple, clean background. You can see the edges of the frame. There's no distracting elements on the edges of the frame. In the background, it's just simple. And you could see, once again, once you abstract the shapes and forms, just think visually. And a lot of this composition understanding is after the fact. You won't see it while you're shooting, 
but always keep composition as one of your preoccupations, as what Cardi Brisson said. I right, thanks a lot for watching. To learn more, just Google Eric Kim blog, and you'll find more inspiration.